Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA, here at ITW 2019. Joining me here today, my good friend Patrick Coughlin. He is the Chief Development Officer of First Light. Patrick, welcome back to JSA TV. Well, thank you, Jamie. It's a pleasure to be here with JSA again and at ITW, uh, this a new venue for all of us, and I think we're all getting used to it, but it seems like uh, the facilities are uh, working out for everyone. Yeah, Atlanta is a great new location for us here. I'm really excited about our, our new spread, new digs. Um, and for our viewers who may not already be know, they should, they should know, right. but just in case, uh, could you remind them perhaps uh, with the the accomplishments and uh, what First Light's all about. Sure. So First Light, um, we are known for being a uh, facilities-based fiber provider throughout the Northeast. Um, really, it spans Upper New England and New York, down into Boston, into New York City. Um, we also have a full breadth of products for enterprise customers and large wholesale carriers. And tell us about how. Um you know, you guys, every time I, I speak with you and you tell us your story, it's so customer driven. And um, you really have been expanding those relationships with your customers, with your services. How can, uh, tell us what's driving all this growth. Well, I think we all know um, with the expansion of technology and products, uh, the demand that uh, all of us are, are utilizing, whether it's our cell phones or our laptops, um, the information that uh, customers need and want, um, we're able to provide those products. And really what we're, we're able to do and what we're known for is expanding those products, especially into the tier two, tier three markets where, you know, for many years there was a void in terms of uh, high performance products and so First Light's bringing all of that tech, technology into the market. And that's a perfect segue actually to the newest product on the market that you announced right here at ITW this week, your VM powered disaster recovery as a service. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, we're really excited. Uh, we've been partnering with Veeam for many years now, but really what we're doing is we're bringing the power of our data centers, our cloud offerings and the diverse fiber network that we have. So we can now actually bring um, real disaster recovery uptime to our customers and geographically disperse those across our footprint. So it's really important, especially where you know data is so important for customers going forward, our ability to capture that data and not only capture it, but also replicate it and bring it back to customers in a timely fashion so they don't have any downtime in the event they have you know some type of failure. And so important in the Northeast, um, growing up there, I can attest, a lot of storms, <laughs> weather always a, a challenge, always never know what you're going to expect. Uh, disaster recovery as a service seems uh, perfect for our, our Northeast region. Yes, uh, you know, we can all attest to whether it's snow, whether it's uh, rain, thunderstorms, um, really disaster recovery, again, for all businesses, so critical. Um, you can't afford to be down, and really with the Veeam product, and again, with, the, with First Light's geographically dispersed facilities, we can capture all that data, and then more importantly, get it back to our customers in a timely fashion. I love that, love that. And for sure, First Light is a growth story ever since your inception back in 1999, which is a we nice long history. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we were so young then. Um, but uh, what do you attribute all this growth to and where do you see yourselves heading in the next year? So the growth comes in many forms, we, whether it's our enterprise business or our carrier wholesale. We, you know, especially in the carrier wholesale side, we've done a tremendous amount of work in cell tower backhaul. Um, and then also, too, I, I shouldn't uh, forget, we recently announced uh, another acquisition, which we closed uh, 30 days ago with Main Fiber. Um, that really has allowed us to expand in the main footprint um, with the fiber assets that Main Fiber had built. Uh, we really have a very robust footprint, so now we can we can provide diversity, we can provide unique fiber routes to our customers, so we're really excited about main fiber and, you know, hopefully as we continue to move forward, you know, throughout the remainder of this year and into next year, we may have some other announcements coming. Yeah, always on a tier. First Light, definitely a company to watch. Where can our viewers go if they want to learn more? They can go to www.firstlight.net and go to our website and we list all our products or they can give me a call. Uh, awesome. Always a pleasure to have you, Patrick. Firstlight.net, the URL to check out. Thank you so much for joining us, and thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV here at ITW. Thank you. Happy networking.